Hi, I'm Natalie Rydstrom and you're watching Sportsbook Reviews 2014 World Cup coverage. Group D teams England and Italy make their World Cup 2014 debut on Saturday. Italy are the favourites to win the group whilst England will be fighting to qualify. Joining us now to take a look at this match is sports writer and tipster Alex Peace from That'sAGoal.com. Alex, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. Now firstly, how's the World Cup buzz over there in England? It's, it's big. Uh, I think England, more than a lot of countries, we get excited for the World Cup. I think this year is very different. We don't expect a lot. Usually England going to a World Cup and the fans think maybe a semi-final, maybe we can win, even win it. This year, there's none of that. Expectations are pretty low. Uh, it's a young squad. A lot of people like Luke Shaw and Oxlade Chamberlain. Um, so fans have low expectations, but people are just really excited. We, the fans know we're in a tough group and people are just looking forward to watching England. And I think there's maybe hope we can get to the quarterfinals, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Well, word over from Brazil is that England are looking quite sort of, they look very calm and actually they look very united. Could we see maybe more than we are expecting from them? I think it'd be wrong to write them off at this stage, obviously. They haven't particularly impressed me in the friendlies, but I've said they seem like they've got a good sort of chemistry going on there and anything can happen on the day. They've got an experienced manager in Roy Hodgson who's been there, done it before, managed at international level in places like Switzerland. So I wouldn't want to write them off right now. Obviously, we'll see after the Italy game. I think quarterfinals, personally. Mm -hmm. OK. Well, looking at that's the goal.com, I can see you've got quite a lot of coverage out on England. So you're the, the man for the job here to have a look at this first match. Now, moving over, uh, looking at the winner's market to start. Italy are favoured to win. They're priced at 2.8 with Bet365. The draw is priced at 3, as is England also at 3. All odds supplied by Bet365. Now, the odds are close. Could this represent the fact that this match will be close also? Yeah, uh, I really struggled to separate them. I think maybe when the draw was made, a lot of people would have said that Italy would win this, but you can see where the bookmakers are coming from here. Um, you know, Italy, Italy have drawn six of the last eight matches. The two teams met at Euro 2012, and they drew then as well. So, and England drew the last two friendly. So, it's going to be tight. Neither team want to give anything away. When they met at Euro 2012 in the quarterfinals, um, it was nil-nil. England played very defensively. So, yeah, it's going to be tight. Well, both Stephen Gerrard, uh, who's suffering from groin injury, and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, uh, they were both seen actually practising uh, in Brazil. Will they be in the starting eleven? Uh, Roy Hodgson seems confident about Stephen Gerrard. What are your thoughts? Um, it seems, yeah, Hodgson seemed very confident in his press conference today. Um, he said that there's no worry about Gerrard, took a knock in training. Um, Oxlade-Chamberlain, I think, is a different issue. Apparently, he's only running in straight lines right now, so he won't make it. He'll maybe back for the second game. But Gerard, I think, will start. I think, um, I think he's that experienced head. It's a youngish squad. I think they need Gerard at the heart of that midfield to sort of lead them. And I, I hope he gets to play. Yeah. Now, the main question here is, Alex, is will you play the winner's market? I will. Um, I've been looking at this one for quite a bit and, think, and I really fancy the draw in this one. As I said, neither side will want to give anything away. I think they both love a point. You know, they've got to play Costa Rica. Uruguay, I think, didn't have the greatest qualifying. So they're an unknown entity still. So I think both sides would take a point, and I think that's probably how it'll end up as well. So yeah, I think it's a good price, a two to one. Okay, now let's just say that England do win or even draw against Italy. How do you fancy their chances of qualifying? I do fancy their chances of qualifying. I know a lot of people have written them off with two tough teams in Italy and Uruguay, but I fancy them. I think I think I think the fixtures are nice to them because they have Costa Rica in the last game. So they'll know, going into the Costa Rica game, with Italy and Uruguay having to play each other, what they need to do. So if they can get maybe a draw off Italy, mm -hmm. maybe another point off Uruguay, they can go into that last game and know a win can get them through. So I think, they're in, I think they're in a good position. And they've got some good players. No one doubts that. So as long as those players are playing at their best, they could have a really good, strong group. Well, Group D betting is close. Uh, Italy are priced at 2.62 to win, Uruguay at 2.75 and England at 3.2. Is this a tough group to call? And guns ahead, who's your bet to win the group? It is a tough, it is a tough group to call. It really is. Um, ah, Italy won those teams. They got to the Euro 2012 final, but in the 2010 World Cup, they came bottom of their group behind the likes of New Zealand and Paraguay. So Italy are really a little bit unpredictable when it comes to the big tournament. Uh, as I said, England, they haven't particularly impressed me in the friendly. So yeah, going to head, i go with Uruguay. Um, I like Cavani, Suarez, players like that. I think they've got some good quality players and they could maybe take advantage of, of, of England and Italy drawing with each other if that happens. Mm -hmm. Well, all this being said, Alex, what is your best tips that you have for us today for this match? 
I say I like the draw, which is two to one with uh, Bet365, and then maybe a really big price of four. So um, you can get both teams to score at six to four with Coral. Italy have kept just one clean sheet in their last nine matches. They're not as good at the back as they used to be. So stick with that in mind, six to four is a big price. OK, so we've got uh, both teams to score and we've got the draw here. Alex Peace is from That's a Goal.com. You can find the link in the description below this video. They provide free football betting tips and the latest bookmaker offers for all major football leagues, including the World Cup. So do be sure to check it out. Alex Peace, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me.